Hi everyone, my name is Moin and today I'm gonna go through with how to use password hashes or how to use plain text to hash your password and store it as a hash in the database. Right, I'm not gonna go through with the details of what password hash are, but we're just gonna look on a quick tour of what an MD5 password hash is and how it can be generated. If you're interested more to read on that, I would recommend going through Microsoft's security or cryptographic classes and it should pretty much give you a complete idea of what it is and how it works actually and i've also copied some of the contents from microsoft msdn so i'm just going to reference it in terms of what i've got from there right uh my blog was getting really really empty so i thought that it would be a good post for my blog anyway Let's get started. I've already got Business Intelligence Studio in front of me and I've got a SQL container and a TFT, Data Flow Task. Now, basically, these are used to determine the quality of the data and how long would it uh, is going to take to load the data into the database. I mean, it actually gives you the, not exactly the quality, it just gives you the time which it's going to take for the real-time data to load into the database so before putting your data into the database it's a good thing to count the number of rows and stress test it to see how long your data migration or data loading is going to take actually in this case it's going to take i think most probably something like milliseconds or something but we're not interested in that actually right so i'm just going to modify i was acting lazy i'm just going to modify this uh, component and i'm going to take a script task from here and use a transformation fair enough it's fine just join the rows I've already got column I think two it is coming from the source yep it's two and in here it's just storing it to a variable so not worried about that so the column will be passed over to my script component and I can choose the input column by clicking on the name of the column and just to name it like uh, let's say md5 I mean your column can be called anything this contains these fields so what's going to happen is that basically these fields are going to be hashed by using an md5 hash and they're going to be displayed as that in terms of the text so i'm going to go to my edit script it's going to compile it first For some reason i don't know why i have to compile it every time anyway I've also got a code from here which I'm just gonna copy. I'm not gonna write too much of my own code. I'm gonna create a new form, just the same function over here. And I'm going to put it as and function. This should pretty much do it. Uh, Microsoft has already given the library for that, so I'm not reinventing the wheel in terms of this. Right, so what we've got is basically an MD hash, MD5 hash which is being created and then it's computed by passing the string which is being passed here in the function. Now, VB.NET is not my specialty, but still I'm working on it. <laughs> anyway, right, after that what happens is that basically it just loops through the hash data and appends it to a string builder i mean a string builder is a good thing if you want to append characters like uh, if you want to add characters to it and then it converts a string and converts it back to the string actually and returns it to the function as a string over here so what i'm going to do is just call this function pretty much
Right, so this MD5 hash, it's going to be displayed for test. Now what I want to do is just check it and see it's running fine. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to run my component. Right, so there it is, actually. Okay, so this is just, I mean, I'm just saying, but you can reuse the hash as well if you want. So I'm just going to save this go back to my component click on edit script now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the column which was there to get the hash of the column so Right, and we've got no errors and no warnings, so in theory it should work fine. If I close this, click on OK, click on Run. This is the first hash which is being computed for... This is the second one. This is for the other digit. It's the third one. The fourth one is the same. Now the third and the fourth are the same. Having said that, they are same because if we look on the columns, right, our columns got null values in there. So when it's computing, it's going to compute these columns as the same hash as it's going to do for the other three in, I mean, coming next to it. So these two are different and then the rest are there. So I think that should pretty much conclude the demo for the hashing and similarly you can use uh, instead of using MD5 which I have utilized over here you can use the SHA as well or SHA2 or whatever algorithm you like but mostly I think MD5 is used uh, so that's why I've gone through with this and that should give you a brief overview of how to hash. Thank you very much.